hi everyone. So what we have here is a lathe. So this is a bit different to a milling machine because on a milling machine, the cutting tool spins and the part moves beneath it. But what we have on a lathe is slightly different. The part spins really quickly and then the tool moves across the part. Now this is really efficient and can remove lots of material very quickly. But on the downside is you create perfectly cylindrical components. So you have to look and see what machine is best for your part. Do you need a milling machine that creates freeform shapes or do you want a lathe to create cylindrical shapes very efficiently? On the milling machine we had a vice that held the part. On a lathe we have something called a chuck. Now this one is hydraulically operated, so I put my billet of material in, I press a foot pedal, and now my material is solid inside of the machine for me to start using the tools to cut. So we have a wide variety of tools as you would imagine on a lathe. We have general purpose turning tools that look like this, and they can go in different orientations. So this is called a turret, where all the tools sit. They can sit this way, or they can actually sit facing out. And you have to choose what is the best orientation for the part you are making. On this turret, we have 10 stations, so we can look and use the best stations for the best orientations. You have also got 10 chances to put the best set of tools in to make your part most efficiently. We've also got drills. This is called a U-drill. It's got tungsten carbide inserts built into it. We normally have it mounted in that orientation and we move it into the part and create large diameter holes very quickly. This is a grooving tool. So that's a really small tip there that's put into the machine and it creates grooves on the part. This is brilliant for things like O-ring grooves in a part or circlip rings or anything else where you need to put a groove internally or externally on the part. This is the tool you would use. And then finally, what we're gonna have a look at is a parting off blade. So what lathes are brilliant at is mass production. So you make one part, you then actually come in with this blade and move it down and completely remove your component from the billet. You then move your stock further out of the jaws and then make another part as well. That's a really useful tool, parting off blade. As you'd imagine, there are many, many other types of tools that you can use. These are just a few of the basic ones. So what we have here is we have our spindle with the parting, we have a turret with all our tools on, and that turret then spins to put the correct tool against our part. This is a three axis lathe. It's quite a complex lathe. A lot of lathes are only two axes. They only normally have Z, which we can see there. That's the Z axis. And then they also have an X axis. Those are the only two axes you need to make a cylindrical part. Now again, this is a very complex lathe. We also have a Y axis on this lathe. And that brings the tool in this direction. That's because this is not just a lathe, this is also a milling machine as well. So because this is, should be used primarily as a lathe, but has the ability of a milling machine, this is called a turn mill. So turning is the primary operation, milling is the secondary operation. If it was the other way around, if it was built as a milling machine with additional capabilities of a lathe, it would be a mill turn machine. So again, you have to choose what machine is best for your components.